Hey there, Julia here. Today we are going to talk about one of my new favorite everyday carry fountain pens and this one kind of snuck up on me. We're going to look at it closely, talk about the cost, what you get. We're going to do some swatching and do a writing sample and ultimately answer who is this pen for? So the pen we are talking about today is the X Musk fountain pen and this one is in the golden galaxy. Let's take a closer look at it here. So my story with this pen, I heard about it briefly on Pinboy Roy's podcast and he didn't, he mentioned it when I say briefly, super briefly, and it piqued my interest. So I went and found it on Amazon and saw that it was about 25 US dollars. And so I added it to my little online wish list. I had my birthday coming up soon. And so I just put it there, didn't think anything else about it. And then lo and behold, on my birthday, my mother gifted me this pen. So if you happen to go look on Amazon, you will see that there are two colors. There's just a pure black version. And right now that's running around $18. And then this golden galaxy version is running $39.99 right now, but I've seen it as low as $20. You know, Amazon is weird. The prices change quite often. So either way, that gives you a little bit of a range. So I was very pleased to see that in the box, you get, of course, the fountain pen here. You also get a 18 milliliter bottle of black X Musk fountain pen ink in a nice stable bottle. You do get the converter for the pen, which I do have it loaded up here. You do get a converter and you also get two black cartridges along with the gift box. So I would say a pretty badass deal for 18 to $39. So before we get into the pen itself, let's do a little swatch of this black ink. I'm shaking it just because there's no shimmer or shining properties here. And I've personally been using this ink for some of my nib work because it's such a good standard ink. make this a little more fun. So yeah, you can see it is a pretty standard black ink. You have some really nice darks when it's put on thick and then some nice gray lights there. I think it's really cool that they include an entire bottle of ink along with the cartridges in the box. Okay, let's take a closer look at the pen itself. So this is the Golden Galaxy colorway. And so you can see that we have some really pretty design elements on the pen and it's not just painted on top, it is etched in there. You can feel the indentations in the pen. And I just think it's really nicely done. It definitely has a more elevated look without that, you know, maquille price point. So you can see the body is more of that cigar shape. It does have a clip. The clip is not very springy. So just something to note there. I'm not sure what this is made out of, but it is some sort of metal, but it's not very heavy feeling. It does feel very substantial. And we open it up here and take a look at the nib. This is an extra fine nib and you really did not get to choose your nib size. But even though this is an extra fine nib, I would say it writes closer to a Western fine. So very comfortable middle of the range type of line width. The nib itself does have the X Musk 
logo engraved on it right here. And you can see that it does say extra fine. It is a black coated nib. And I tend to like those a little bit better just because they end up being a tad bit smoother. But we will do a writing sample with this a little bit later. Let's take a look at this feed. So it is a plastic feed as you would expect. It does seem a little bit bulkier, like the plastic seems a little more higher quality than what one would expect. You can see the ink intake here, so you don't have to dip it in there too far to suck up some ink. The pen is also postable. So you can post it and it's still pretty comfortable. I'm just gonna do a little wiggle so you see that it doesn't fly off. It's also comfortable when not posted. Okay, we're going to weigh this out. So post it, the pen would be 38 grams. Unpost it, we're just going to weigh the cap and do some math. So the cap is 14 grams. So unpost it, we're looking at 24 grams. And if that means nothing to you, let's compare with a Twisby Eco. So a Twisby Eco, weighs 22 grams. The cap is 10 grams. So a Twisby Eco is about 12 grams. That doesn't really take into consideration the ink that's in here, which may be splitting hairs there. So the weight is about double a Twisby Eco, which I guess doesn't mean a lot because a Twisby Eco is pretty light. So we have 24 grams unposted, for the X Musk and 12 grams unposted for the Twisby Eco. And then let's just compare the size to a Twisby Eco. And I'm doing a Twisby Eco just because it's a more accessible and common pen. So if we push these right up to each other in the tray, let's do it this way. So you can see here that the Twisby Eco is just the tiniest bit taller. And then of course, post it. Typically do not post Twisbys. You can take a look at that as well, just to give you an idea of the size of the pen. Okay, now we're just going to do a quick little writing sample so you can listen to the lack of feedback here and just get an idea of how the pen performs. So yeah, there was the writing sample. As you heard, very little feedback, very smooth writer, performs well with faster writing as well. I have been pretty dang shocked at this pen and it's just been a go-to for me. I have it in my planner pen loop. I have it inked up with platinum carbon black. And I honestly don't know if I'm going to ever unink it. I really love it. It's been really surprising. So who is this pin for? I would say that this would be an excellent gift for a fountain pen lover. I think it would be a great gift if you're trying to pin able someone to go down the rabbit hole with you. I think this is also great for beginners for a one-stop shop because you get the pin the ink, 
the converter to cartridges. So whether they or you feel more comfortable filling from a bottle or just using cartridges, you have that option just right out of the box. And then I think if you are looking for an everyday carry pen that's a little bit elevated as far as aesthetics, I think this is a great one. The finer nib can also take on different types of papers, receipts, printer paper and not feather and just be a pain to carry around. And yeah, I just think it's a really great pen. I think this company is out of California. They don't have much of a presence that I found online or anything, but I will link it for you down below. Let me know what you think of this fountain pen. Are you gonna go grab it? Have you tried it? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will leave for you another fountain pen review right here if you wanna check it out and I will catch you in the next one.